Hey guys, uh, real quick note on edge alignment and <clears throat> cutting form. Um, this is just what I've found from cutting. I, I'm not going to claim that it's you know law or anything, but when cutting with one hand, um, as you're coming into the strike, you know make sure you have your right foot forward if you're swinging right to left. As you're coming into the strike, don't pop the wrist until your hand is already past the target. Um, what this does is that as your hand passes the target, your arm is going to be swinging back, so it's going to be already be making a natural arc. And then by flicking your wrist at that point, and that's when you want to, then you're already pretty much putting the draw into the cut. You don't have to, you know, pull in or anything like that. Not that there's anything wrong with what the other guys have been telling you, but this is just what I've found for me. So you wait till your hand is already past the target, and then that's when I put the, the umph into my cuts. Um, and then that makes a natural a natural drawing motion. Um, with a two-handed sword, um, this can apply for katanas or anything else. Same thing. Um, you're coming into the cut. Your hands are probably already going to be, you know, past it. But as you're coming in, you know, you don't want to do the push-pull motion until your hands are already past the line between you and the target. So, you know. And what that does is that'll help with your speed. Um, as far as edge alignment. That's just something that you got to keep on practicing. Uh, I'll call this the first installment of Greg's sword tips.